Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 using the No Step Back DLC. I'm your host, Mr. European Conquest Lover. But as you can tell, it's uh, December 20 12th, 1948, and I've gone ahead and just pretty much took out the UK. I mean, I, I invaded them. It was really, really, really easy this time for some reason. I just invaded like I did normally, just through Dover and Portsmouth, but yeah, overall, it wasn't that bad. We got a lot of sub daddies, and we got 181 subs, a few capital ships, four carriers in this one. Three carriers in this one, and a battleship too. And a 1944 heavy battleship, which is pretty nice. But, I've already invaded America. Overall, I've just been playing this whole bunch off screen. I know some people are going to say, why did you do that, Mr. Mocha Lover? Why did you... We want to see more of what you do. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I just got a little bit too into it um, off screen. But yeah, we've invaded through Greenland to... What is this? Newfoundland, all the way down to Nova Scotia. Sorry, I don't know my Canadian geography that well. And we're trying to get Boston. We're not getting Boston, but we took Montreal already, so pretty nice. And of course, it's Trotsky himself with Zukov and Karel and Marki and leading the assault into North America, so we'll see what happens. And we're doing some more focuses as well. I've done quite a few naval focuses here. Uh, we do need organization partisans. After being overrun, many soldiers left behind enemy lines chose to continue the fight instead of humiliating captivity. Together with the peasants and workers of the occupied territories, they continue to fight against the invader. We must send them support so that they can tie down even more enemy units. Uh, but, like I said, I've done more naval stuff here, like uh, PC of the USSR Navy. With the Navy becoming more modern and more capable, it is time to recognize it as a combat arm that is equal to the Army in importance. The first step is to allow the Navy to form an administration separate from the Army, surface warfare. Capture ships require a significant investment of time and resources, and often end up being obsolete before they are even finished building. Smaller vessels can be built much faster and consequently can keep pace with technological developments much easier. We should focus on developing our life forces as a primary arm of the naval warfare, an ocean-going navy. Although the Union encompasses a greater land area than any nation on the planet, the oceans of the world are yet to be ruled by our ships. Heavily armored battleships will be part of our future ocean, o future ocean-going fleet. Offensive maritime strategy. We cannot afford to sit back and wait for the enemy to come to us. We must take the initiative and strike back or attack the enemy wherever we can, which helps for production costs for uh, capital ships, and this one helps us with battleship models and stuff like that. And gave us super heavy battleship poles, which is really nice too. Mine warfare. Um, it is un uneconomic to try and defend our entire coastline with ships. By laying minefields in strategic locations, we can deter or at least damage any enemy fleet trying to close get close to our shores. We're not doing great against America. Um, we're doing okay against Canada, though. Yeah, they are bombing the crap out of us, which is quite unfortunate. And we're actually putting up a tough fight against them, so we'll see. What, well, somewhat. We'll see what happens. Um, Canada's easy. America is not so easy. What else is new, you know? Um, yeah, overall, not too bad, though. Trying to see as many combos, trying to push as fast and as hard as possible. Man, if we could go down all the way to here, that'd be great. Just cut them off. God, I wish we could do that. Do we have railway guns here yet? I don't think we do. That'd be kind of cool if we did, though. It'd be real cool if we did. Um, supplies are going to probably be a big old issue here. Rocket engines, nice. Let's get some more rocket engines. Yeah. Oh, we're actually pushing down to Massachusetts. Nice. Oh, we did get defeated, though. That sucks. Yeah, we might want to stop the attacks, but we're doing really well up here. We can do well up here, too. We have a few nukes as well. I do want to nuke America. We need air superiority for that. If anything, supplies are just so bad down here. Mm, kind of want to build a supply company here. Improved anti tank upgrades. Not bad. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, I'll take a look at losses just in a little bit. What do we have over here? Raised penal units? Uh, we're kind of okay. We're doing uh, the Golden Idol of Capitalism. It's not bad. As well as transport the siblings of the Red Army. Plus, well, supply consumption would be very good as well. Organized American Fifth Columnists. Workers and peasants sympathetic to the Bolshevik Party throughout the U.S. have made preparations for an armed uprising, and they are ready to strike where the enemy least expects it. Yeah, we'll try it. Why not? For 90 days. We might be able to push through there in 90 days, but whatever. War propaganda. We can close out of that one. War bombs would be nice, but I don't really want to lower too much there. Um, we still have stuff over here, too. Oil, stuff like that. Repair this. Oh, God. Repair this. Let's get now. You might one now immediately. Uh, local agent recruitment. Create a collaboration government. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, we'll release all the puppets when we're done here. Um, what was I looking for again? I can't remember. Merge some plants. Mission air efficiency. That's not bad. Cast production. Output. Uh, let's do this one. That one too. We can start more masses, maybe. In Iran. I'll uh, do Brazil, maybe. Let's try Brazil. Yeah, overall, not too bad, though. Supplies. I think we already maxed out logistics. We're going to pretty much research almost everything. It's 1949 now. It's kind of crazy here. What else are we doing around the world? We're still trying to take out Belgium in the African continent. Uh, you guys are just kind of hanging out. You guys are just kind of hanging out. Honestly, you guys come over here just because you're not doing anything. So that'll be good. Hang out. 
uh, hang out as well if you can. You guys are training, which is fine. You guys are over here, so you're just... Oh, we want to take up Pakistan, too. I forgot about that. Pakistan. Because we can. Understand Pakistan. Do we take... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of fights. Do we take Boston yet? Oh, we are. We are taking Boston. Very nice. Good. Ah, that's so much more supply, then. Who cares? Oh, a lot of guys got hit, didn't they? There you go. You guys go over there. Yeah, you guys... Don't do that. Just go home and repair as well. Using just destroyers to try to sink enemy ships and stuff like that's not a good idea. Signal Company 3 is nice. Not sure if we need 4s, but whatever. If anything, really, um, you guys are over here. Join them, because eventually, even though supply might be an issue right now, it won't always be an issue. Also, we are 10 million manpower. Pretty nice. Uh, merge automobile. Sure, why not? Wow, the spear is very nice. Cool. And then after the organization of partisans, mind warfare, of course, and then we'll do all this stuff as well. Because, you know, we're not, America's not the only one here trying to fight. Um, we still have Japan here, too. So, Japan's doing really, really well. I need to give them a chunk of Africa as, as well. So, we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Some motorized aren't doing too bad, though. And literal, literal horses still. Ooh, they're still trying to logistic bomb us. But I don't think it's going that well for them, is it? No. They still have more planes in the air. That's alright though. It's alright. We're doing still doing we're still doing okay. Hey, that's not okay though. Can you get in there? Because if I want to turn around go that way. That'd be great. But I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm having an okay day myself. Let's see. Tankies? Yeah, why not? Uh no, no, no. There we go. That's better. Go, Zukov, go! Oh, you're not doing well. Okay. Bro. No, we're going to uh, New Jersey now. We still haven't finished this stuff either? Holy crap. <clears throat> we're very communist here. Very commie. So, losses. We've lost a lot of guys. 1.6 million to the U.S. 1.1 million to the U.K. We've still delivered 14 million in casualties, though, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. Canada's not lost that many. How many Americans have we killed off? 4.4 million? Compared to like 1.7 from us? From them? I can get on board with that. It's not bad. Especially as we're trying to sink stuff left and right. How are you guys doing over here? Level 3 Admiral? Eh, you could be better. Alright, Mine Warfare, just because of the Japanese eventually. And over here, we're going to grab another light super heavy battleship. No. Super light cruiser. Uh, for a... Yeah, no. Yeah, we don't need you guys after this one. Uh, I'll get that one eventually. Floating... Oh. We got level ones. Yeah, don't worry about that then. Uh, this stuff. Gonna need a lot of repairs. Lots and lots of repairs. Which is fine. Nice. Good job, guys. So, all of New Jersey's under us now. Actually, do we put... Oh, we didn't do anything here yet for this. Yeah, that's kind of a mistake. Because this helps uproot some entrenchment that enemies will have. Cool. Do we have more railway guns? I do like some good old railway guns. Where's our capital? Leningrad? Oh, we've got about 14. Here, put them all in the tanks. Just kidding. Put them all in that one army, though. That works out. More, more nuclear reactors. Oh, are they pushing up here too? No, we are. It's good. You can tell we're building a lot of naval bases. We have a lot of roads too. Very nice. Very nice. Struggling still with the front down here, which does kind of suck. But Canada just ain't doing well. Are we in Mich Oh, we're in Michigan. We're in Michigan. We've made it all the way to Michigan. Good or bad. But now we have radar as well, which is very good. Oh, and we're in Maryland. Baltimore. Oh, God, who wants Baltimore? Well, maybe in this time, that's not too bad. Over here, you guys are cut off, which is very good. No one else has upgrades? Four, seven, four, four, five, yeah. We already have a well-planned attack, so... Mm. Still doing that stuff over there. Um, do we need any more resources? We didn't... 
<clears throat> oh my god, America just strip kneeling video. Okay, then that's. I do realize they're gonna lose all their soldiers that way, but okay. Well, you guys aren't doing anything, right? How about you come head on over here? That's a thing you'll fall eventually. There you go, whoops. Didn't mean to click that fast, but okay. California, me, uh. Um, I want to do Florida, but. Hmm. I'm going to do Illinois as well. Might as well again. Do, does America have the national spirit, like defense um, home territory? Yeah, Homeland Defense Emergency Act, plus 20% attack and defense of court territory. No, oh, so they're okay ish. Guys, get your butts over here. And they have to resupply anyways up here, so we're going to be seeing tons of convoys. Lots and lots of combat is going to die here. Because they chose incredibly poorly. Pressure mines, nice. Get some destroyers because he can. Hydrophones because he can. Um, I get your divisions. I don't remember making any more, but okay. Why not? Or. Oh, these are not the infantry divisions. These are the, the divisions in America that they're going to be used to rise up against them. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, they're taking back a very large amount of territory already. But, like I said, they have to send all these convoys through here, and they're going to lose all these divisions. This going this way. They can't even cover their entire front line now, which is nice, still. Which means you should be learning even more. Level 6 is not bad. Come on. You're literally almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're repairing? That's a lot of repair. Holy crap. Rocket interceptors. That's okay. Um, ah, that's going better mechanized. After mine warfare, though, uh, reinforced Western naval bases. The Baltic fleet is very exposed in its bases. We should invest some resources into protecting its anchorages and improve its repair capacities. Or... Yeah, capacities. Capabilities. Capacities. Yeah. No, Syria. No. Not today. When are you going to be done? Holy crap. Come on. Hurry up, Mine Warfare. There we go. We got some divisions on there, finally. Another sub. Very good. Get on the line and start plowing them. Plow them like snow. Wow, look at that. Nice. DC still won't fall, but we're pushing straight through. We took all of Kentucky already. Holy crap. We lost 10 subs there. Holy crud. A lot. A lot gone. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, we lost some carriers. Oh boy. What? And what battle do we lose carriers? We sunk two American carriers. Because they're not repairing. You guys still have four. Oh, maybe we lost one. I mean, even then, then, that's not terrible. We're all the way down Mississippi. We're not, almost in Arkansas, too, but still. We have all of Indiana. Um, almost all of Illinois. They're still focused on defending the capital, but they lost the capital. They went back up to the New England area. A sparsely populated New England area. Um, did I have this ever done? UK is separate. I don't have this ever. Huh. Whoopsie. There's got to be more than just basically 
like Detroit and Chicago and LA and the capital for terms of just like supply stuff or just like knowing where enemies are at or like getting intelligence stuff like I get those are like major states and cities um with Chicago and DC and LA but like nothing in Texas Florida doesn't have that many people I guess yeah I mean, at least Texas would have something there right I mean 7 million 1.78 Maryland's a capital with two and a half 5.9 and California has a lot there's less people in California than Texas so of course being a command center I'm not sure how important it would be a command center in Texas but still you know still nice passive sonar I'll go to the next one cool Reinforce the northern naval bases. Despite being located north of the Arctic Circle, Murmansk is ironically our only port that remains ice-free the entire year and has access to open oceans. We should develop further to allow better access to the rest of the world. Followed up with. Reinforce southern naval bases. The Black Sea might look like a secondary theater, but if we lose the control over it, we'll open up our entire southern territories up to enemy invasion, as it happened in the Crimean War. We must not let this happen again. It should strengthen the naval base in the region. Ah, Florida's been cut off. Very good. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're pretty much all dead now. Good job, Ivan. Good job. We're not going to use this, but good job. Already can... Oh, yeah, we didn't... Oh, we try to make these, but it's not very good. Um, These things are batteries. They're very slow, these things. Uh, got a lot of attack. This thing's not bad. Its armor's okay. Better radar. Ah, that's even better speed. Level two. Convoys. Anything else here? Huh. All right, not bad. What are we making? Kronska dead. Uh, there's a lot of outdated ships and stuff. But whatever. What do we have down here? Lots of convoys. Nice. Oh, look at this. There's a lot of convoys down here. Ten. 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 The game's glitched sometimes, but it just gives you just the same number over and over and over and over again. It's really annoying, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Oil? We don't really need it, but we can do a lot of this stuff. Why not? Because we can. We have barely enough for the ones that we can do. Did you guys finish off? Almost. I still have coffee or two. Halifax, please and thank you. And take all about like you and go here. Wow, we lost all those railway guns, didn't we? That sucks. Huh. Oh well. Yeah, we're gonna need to figure out a way to go to war with the Japanese, which is gonna happen between this episode and the next anyways, but yeah. Looking a bit much here. Nothing like building a lot of infrastructure in the best place in the world called the Middle East. Also, we're going to build some supply bases here too. Because fighting the Japanese in Africa does not sound like fun. Nice. And Eastern Naval Bases. Even after the humiliation of 1905, the Japanese have not stopped making noise about encroaching on our territories. We must be ready for war against them. And that the main strength in our naval bases in the region. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. We have naval bases or air, uh, naval bases. Uh, let's put that down there. It's fine. Even if we don't, we can't use this. I'd still rather have it because even if we're pushing through here and fighting through here, it, it's just better overall to have it for everyone's sake. We could try that, but it's not really gonna work out. Uh, yeah, Africa's kind of a mess, but then again, it is Africa. What do you expect? Yeah, Krasky's doing really well, though. Turkey? No, the Turks are definitely not ready. No, God, no. Say no to Turks. Nice. L-Class, we're not going to use that class. Um, anything else? Motorized? Yeah. Coyote shows? Actually, I should have used those earlier, but whatever. Alright. Some more super heavies, might as well get two of that going. 
Get another two going there too. Um, we're all sturdy. Yeah, not interested in that. We'll do some copy. I forgot about. As we're pushing into Mexico. Nice. Oh, hello. That's not good. Yeah, look, you're looking pretty good. Pretty red. I like it. I like it a lot. This feels like Kaiserreich or Kaiser Redux now. We're just fighting through America. Oh boy. It is going to take some time to get through here. Well, uh, America was very particular in how they wanted to build up a lot of infrastructure here. Um, they wanted, like, the south touching the Midwest portion, and then the rest of the Midwest, but not all the Midwest, and New England. Makes no sense. Doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe it's not supposed to make sense. Yeah, we got a lot of this going on. Um, into our armored cars? Might as well. We got a lot of resistance to put down. Do we have Mexican one done? No. Well, that sucks. At this point, we should just justify on these guys anyways. Might as well. Ten days, just go to war with them. Make it easy. Make it easy on us. Canada's still not done, unfortunately, but whatever. It is what it is. Supply boy, boink, boink. Ah, oh, stuff over there anyways. Cool. And then, so their naval bases, too. I love these shorter focuses, but expand shipbuilding plans. Our geography forces have widely spread out shipyards support our various fleets. Any attempt at increasing our shipbuilding capacity, therefore, has to be spread out as well. We get a building slot and a dockyard in each date in which naval bases have been reinforced by previous focuses. So, one, two, three, five, eight. Eight more dockyards. That's why we take so long with these. Not bad. Thank you. I'm better mechanized, yeah. Ah, Guatemala, the true scourge of Central America. Uh, mechanized, very nice. Well, just go to war with them too. Who are we not at war with? Because we're just gonna go to war with everyone in Central America at this point. Pretty much everyone everywhere. Oh look. Yay, die. Die for our amusement. Actually, what's on our modern tanks? Because I think I made these just 20 comments. I, I threw it mechanized here, too. Ooh! Nice. America capitulated. Yeah. That's not bad. Armor's not bad. 91's not bad. I mean, we could pierce ourselves. Um, organization's pretty bad, but that's pretty normal. Um, overall, it's not bad. Available reliability, reliability bonus. Soft sack's okay. I don't know. It's, it's all right. We got some maintenance companies, too. It's not bad. Good job, guys. And now they take those guys out. Take out these guys, too. Go to war with Nicaragua. Uh, would you guys just like to come to Vancouver? That You should be able to capitulate them that way. Just by doing that. Ooh. Nicaragua. Oh, someone got nuked. Oh, look at that. Costa Rica's next. Who nuked these guys? Oh. Oh. They're the Japanese here. So America should have nuked them then. Actually, what did it do to win this war? Just Mexico? Colombian social power. Canada's a major power too. <clears throat> oh, Canada state. Canada, Canada, Canada. What a... Let's see. Oh, wait, you all died. You already won. If that's the case, um... Do that. You should just be able to take... If you just take Vancouver, you should be good enough. Because honestly, I just want to take you guys. Just start working on these guys down here. Just go in. Go down as far as you possibly can. Subbies? Subbies and chubbies? We're like the little... Half chubs? Hmm... Good. Panama's at war with us. You guys are at war with us. Everyone in South America should already be at war with us. Ecuador? Yes. Yes. Oh, darn it. Well, I guess we won. Darn it. I want to throw as many enemies as we can. I should have just fired them much sooner. But, uh, I'll do it like this. Um, Iraq. You can have Kuwait. Iraq. We are generous here. Um, Japan may have Bangladesh. Who's Ladesh? Why is he banging her? Anyway, do that too. Malaya, uh, the Philippines. Um, not Australia, which is disappointing, but whatever. And you can have the American Islands here too. Uh, why, why would we take them? There's no point for us to take them. So, there you go too. If we do end up somewhere with extra islands, whatever. Uh, there you go, and there you go. Is that it? That might be it. Oh yeah, these guys too. Mariana Islands. Oh, New Zealand. You can have New Zealand too. There you go. And you can have Ching China. I don't care about Ching China at all. Even though we all fight, we all send our entire army back here too. So, everyone else, Canada, 
Welcome aboard. You will all be freed eventually. Um, totally freed later. Working on it. Where's the Annex All button? Cool. Thank you, UK. Thank you for playing China's a giant mess. My gosh. America. Thank you for playing America. Thank you for your resources, even though we don't really need them, except for a lot, just god awful mod and tungsten. And thank you, too. So, we're not done with this episode yet. We still gotta kill off all of South America, and Central America, and the Caribbean. We got a lot to do. But now that the New World Order is being more and more established, Japan ain't looking too bad around here, too. So, you guys are up there. Um, hmm, I'm gonna really think how we're gonna do this. Um, honestly, you guys come over here too. I want five armies for the just the this little all of this. Oh, we didn't do good with. Oh, dang it. oh god, go with these guys too. Dang it, we need, we need more armies. Oh, we need more armies too. Um, you guys are what nine twos? That's fine. Fine, go like sixteen. It's fine for now. All right, expand ship building ports, and then you guys will go and do this as well. You're literally just going to guard the entire area here. Like I don't care if we don't have enough divisions on the line. It really is not a concern of mine. Oh, oh, you can't go that way. Okay. Um, there we go. Ooh. Okay, you still can't go that way. God dang, I hate Afghanistan. I'm sure I'm not the first person to say that. Who likes Afghanistan? Do people in Afghanistan like Afghanistan? I'm sure some do. So really, it's just South America. Those neutral nations. The Japanese sphere. And us. God, I wish we had fallback lines when, when Hoi 3 was a thing. Or when Hoi 2. So you guys do that. Good luck. Um, you guys are here. And you're going to be sent to Africa. Because everyone loves Africa. We all know everyone loves Africa. And then you guys come down here too. We're going to need some Middle Eastern armies. We're going to need some other armies here too. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be great. I send you to that area too, yeah. Um, but we're not done yet. Because I can send uh, Karel over here as well. And he can focus on South Southern South Africa. Honestly, we shouldn't. We, we honestly probably will get like hit and bombed here, but like we need just need to make sure all of Africa's under us. Like that. There you go. Cape Verde Plain. Uh, while we're still doing stuff up here in North America as well, so that's fine. Just do, just do everything around the world. Just, just be, just be great. Just be awesome. There you go. Stubbies, chubbies. Very nice. Very nice. So we got all that stuff done. Uh, we're gonna be pushing in here. Wait, Nicaragua, bro. What are you doing? But we should be pretty good soon. And let's see. Uh, merge naval plans. Naval construction and ship design is a time-consuming process in which excessive competition is simply inefficient. We should merge our design bureaus to eliminate the, this waste of effort. All right, everyone. So now it's February 1950. We're in a new, new decade, but we're doing advanced maneuvers. Having large and modern ships is pointless if the crews have no idea how to use them. We must institute regular, large-scale naval exercises to train our crews and officers in modern naval warfare. And naval infantry? Why not? This is a lot of buffs. I like this. Oh, maybe we're removing debuffs, but... Well, we have no intention to invade hostile shores and imperialistic en endeavors. Totally. A force of dedicated naval infantry can be very useful at raid enemy shore installations and threaten the enemy's coastline. I love how much content, or how many focuses there are for, uh... Oh, hello. Um, the Soviet Union. It's very nice, actually. Very, very nice. But as you can tell, we're invading Brazil, because everyone loves Brazil. Everyone who has ever talked about Brazil knows how much and how great Brazil is. Everyone loves Brazil. Everyone. But, anyways, RPG 43, so I was about 7 years old at this point. But whatever. And we're about done with our coffee. But we still got, we still got a little bit of love in there. Still a little bit of love in there. And uh, we'll use the tanks to invade uh, pretty much everybody in this this episode. So, next episode will be all about taking out J the Japanese sphere, doing the best we can. I'm not too concerned about it, even though uh, we're saving them for a big old major power battle here. Should be fun. Should make me rage just a little bit, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, they're actually... It's 1950, and the AI. Okay, are they are they just training? Please tell me they're just training, because they have more. It doesn't look like they're training though. They have more than enough time to figure out how to like make sure they don't starve. Like, bros. Like, it's 1950. What else can you be researching and building? 
They are very special. Very, very special. And I say that with no none of my best intentions. But, yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to take a little bit of time to do, but whatever. It's fine. We got a little bit of time. So we got to take out the Caribbean anyways. Get our soldiers over there anyways. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, well, oh, well, actually, this is pretty bad. Yeah, build yourselves up there. Build, just build, 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 build. And we'll go, just go to war with Uruguay anyways, because we can. Thank you. Paraguay. Oh, they're also communists. Oh, well. Yeah, we're just going to take out, not take out the uh, Japanese yet. How strong are the Japanese? That's a good question to ask, actually. As we are building up our uh, shippies quite a bit more. Down to the Brazil co Brazil Coalition. You know, you can't even come up with a cool name, huh, Brazil? Oh, so we have a battle cruiser. Wait, we have a battle cruiser here? Wait, who's a battle cruiser? Kronstadt. Kronstadt. Wait, why are we making battle cruisers? Heavy ship hulls, 44. Wait, where is that? We're not making any outdated ships like that, are we? Oh, is that up here? Oh! No? Mm, no? Hole A, super heavies. Oh, here's, here it is. Why are we still making that? No. Oh, it's very weird. Quit, quit India, huh? Well, good luck with that, guys. Uh, supplies are probably really bad through here, but whatever. Oh, we just take, it, it's going to take some time pushing through here. Yeah, that's not great, but it is what it is. I can't be bothered too much with this. So. It's just going to take... Oh, we actually lost a division. Ah, whatever. We're going to make more anyways. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of divisions. What if we just converted all of our divisions to, like, tanks? That would probably be a really bad idea. Advanced torpedo ship. Very cool. Get some more of that, too. Actually, since we're here. Nice. Very nice. You can actually probably take all this stuff off as well. I like it when they take it off, but whatever. Put the lotion on the skin and you get the hose again. Anyways, um... Take that stuff off. And, uh, do that. Do it around Brazil, because we can. Nice. Pretty good. I know, supply sucks. But there's really not much we can do about it when you're attacking like this. Just build them all in these locations. Just do the best you can. I know it sucks. Brazil special. Um, can we invade somewhere else? Like Bolivia, maybe? We may go around and go through Bolivia. That might be good, actually. Just tons of supply. Actually, we should... You know, here's what we're going to do. Let's go over here and actually make some transport planes. Because someone did tell me to make some transport planes sometimes. And do supply like that. Basic armored stuff. Hold on, let's do this. Uh... Basic armored cars, and improved armored cars, which is not as efficient. Oh, we're losing a lot of tungsten now, it sucks. Uh, mechanized 3. No, not this one. Mechanized 3. Basic tractors is fine. Naval infantry is fine. Expand the Mos Morskaya Aviatia. Airplanes have already changed the nature of land warfare dramatically. In the future, they will pose significant dangers to even the most modern surface ships. We should ensure that we always have a modern naval aviation's arm to both support our other vessels. Cool. So that means we're done with this side, except found the uh, Jet Institute. Uh, the current piston engines can only be pushed so far. Future planes will have to rely on new methods of propulsion. We should found an institute to do and research into uh, jet engines to ensure that we will not be overtaken by foreign developments. Pretty much. Can we actually continue pushing down through here at all? Uh, we're, we're trying to. If we get some supply up through here, I think that would definitely help us out a little bit. How much more manpower do these guys have? Quite a bit. Hmm. Not good. They're definitely trying. Zukov, I mean, bless his heart, but... Armor Pierce Cap Shell, nice. No, we're good right there. More subs? Why not? Alright, did you actually make it through there? Nice. Yeah, supplies are really bad through here. We kind of expected, but what still? Actually, let's come up here. Uh, let's make the... We can blow stuff up? No. Good working conditions. Ooh, Latvian National Academy? Yes, please. Um, but, the last supply consumption would be very good as well. The mother line calls, no. Transport, yes, this one. Because we're building this up anyway, so you might as well, right? 
The mother line calls, weekly manpower. Uh, could use more tungsten. Accomplish a high yield. Do not blab. Break the chains of It's not bad. Every Soviet Republic gets young builders of communism, which wouldn't be bad either. Builders, yeah, go builders. Why not? Ah! Oh, Brazilian task? Oh, we won! But not really. Oh, Australia's gone too! We are slowly pushing through here, so that's good. And go actually, up through here, because we got the supply point now. Is that a supply point or is that not? It is a supply point. Well, it's a su somewhat ish, but. Yeah, this is going to take time. That's all. Just going to take time. You guys. Oh, you made it. Nice job. So, let's evade Cuba. If we can. They have, like, no manpower. Ten days left. Not bad. You guys. I'll take three at a time. You go from here to... There. You three go from here to there. If we end up with no supply to begin with, whatever. And then you three go from here. Literally evade every single tile that they have. Um, Cuba, nice. One, two, three. Get from here as well, and we're just gonna keep stacking them. Uh, since we're down here, anyways, get some radar, get some of this too. Build up that airbase because you guys literally have nothing on you right now. There you go. Thank you. Boom, bing, bing, bong, boom. Thank you. Some guy died. Unfortunate. Don't really care right now though. And there you go. One and then two. That's better. Nope. Well, we're getting closer. Could be better, but that's all right. We're getting there. We have almost 2,000 factors, almost 1,900, not bad. Good job, guys. Jet propulsion, awesome. Yeah, this campaign, I want to finish up all the research. I've never finished up all, at the time of this recording. Every single focus here, which we still might not be able to. So, yeah, oh my gosh, there's still so much here. The fight for the Pacific. No matter our strength of land, we'll have to cross water to get to grips with our enemies in the Pacific region. We must therefore develop our coastal infrastructure and shipbuilding industry before we can wage effective war in that area of the world. See what we can do. Can you guys just go on in? Uh, well, I guess I have to wait first, huh? Oh, we don't need a supremacy today. Let's come back up here, yeah, that's fine. Look at all these ships. Nice. Um, just because we're doing this up here, you guys can come up here too, because you can. Because why not? Screw it. There you go. Should be fine. You guys there? You guys ready? You good? Let's not die. Not too hard, at least. Cruiser's nice. There you go. Another carrier. Oh, oh, that's a carrier hole we just, the focus put in there. Oh, projects. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What what type of carriers are we using here? We need a more expensive one. Um, these need armor. These definitely need at least a bit of armor. I've tried it without armor before, and some of you, not you guys, but some people, maybe you guys, uh, did recommend we try it without armor so we get even more planes, but they're so ungodly squishy that they will die. They will literally die every time you use them. This is my experience. So I don't like my planes or carriers going out without at least a spot of armor. So, yeah, it's not good. Let's go in. It's fine. It'll be fine. Do we lose here? Or did they just not go? They must have lost. Yeah, they must have lost. Yeah, no, that's fine. Go all the way down there. Be fine. You guys go all the way down here now. Can you get, oh, Guantanamo Bay is not its own thing. Guantanamo's there, but not Guantanamo Bay. This is not like Kaiser, right? Or Kaiser Redux. It's fine. Oh, a lot of convoys, huh, Kyle? Nice. Good job, guys. Um, another armored group, maybe? I know we're missing some areas here that uh, need some soldiers, so. Like per uh, Venezuela. Not Peru. We'll do Venezuela over here, too. Sidor Kovpak? Nice. Ah, thanks, Gibo. Thanks for playing. Alright, see so you guys. Spider sec. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's how you do it. Really fast. Really flipping fast. Which we love, 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 love. Good job, guys. So now, Spot the Prince. Uh, we'll probably get the justification done for them faster than I can actually take these guys out, so. Or set up the naval invasions. The extractor, one, two, three. Come from Kingston down there. Actually, I'm not sure how to floating harbor. Uh, let's try it out. Why not? 
click on it. It's basically probably the exact same thing as just a normal naval invasion, but you actually have a supply point. Of course, you do need some naval uh, floating harbor. You do need a naval floating harbor yourself, so. Now we get these guys, huh? Oh. That's fine. Cool. Marines. Might as well use Marines, too. Might as well convert them. We should have enough infantry for this stuff. Uh, oh, we lost three more tank divisions. I, I'm just not paying attention to this. My apologies. Then again, I don't really care. <clears throat> yeah, we've lost a lot of guys, haven't we? That's a lot of guys we lost. We cut off 700,000 Brazilians, though. So, overall, not bad. You guys just keep going on in, please. I'm just not paying attention. That's all. There you go. Mount infantry, nice. Pretty good. Jet Institute, nice. Anything else here? Okay, chest, which, I mean, that will lower our armor on our mechanized divisions already anyway, so I don't really need use them. Amphibious tractors, I mean, if you want to you have them, that's I don't care. Alright, five for the Pacific. We could use them, but I don't like using them. Marines. Um, I'm not sure how to really use Marines. I don't really know the best template in Hoi 4 anymore. Ever since the No Step Back DLC came out, I'm not really sure. So I'm just going 9 twos, but just basically... Oh, actually 10 twos. 10 infantry, or 10 Marines in this case, and then 2 artillery just for more support. Uh, get that. Get some engineers. That's always good to get. Logistics will be very good. Uh, it goes uh, enough field hospitals. That's because we have enough manpower. Let's go signals this time. Recon will be very good as well since we did go grand battle plan. Getting a slight bit of armor would be very nice too. And actually, it would be pretty good as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, now so much better. We lost way too many tanks here. That's why I put a big order in for even more. Yep, let's see what happens. Just find you. Oh, we can't just find you guys because you are part of the sphere. Which sucks. Yeah. Oh, and the Brazil Coalition. Well, that's fine. Anyone else part of the Brazil Coalition that needs to die? Bolivia? Okay. Since we asked. Let's even go on in. That's a lot. That's a lot. Hold on, hold on. Before we do that, look at all the combos that we just got. 2, 20, 3, 18, and 18 again. Nice. How do we keep losing more divisions here? That's because of force attack. It's probably because of force attack. We lost a lot. My bad. I'm just not paying attention to this at all. But with so much manpower already and so many factories, I just can't care that much. Oh, good job, Haiti. Agent captured. What? Where? And we'll probably establish a government and uh, a collaboration government in that one place. Yeah, that one place. Good job, guys. You just stay there and just do that, probably. Santo Domingo. Brazil's gotta capitulate soon, right? Right? Screw it, just, take it. just get them out. I need those divisions. I've lost way too many already. We have 33 nukes. That's not enough. Uh, Marines 2, yes. Marines 3, yes. Let's at least convert half you guys to Marines. Or to do all of them. There you go. Good luck. And Zuka's level 8. Ah, oh, there we go. We got them all. Nice. My apologies for taking so long and killing off so many of our own divisions, but you know what? We'll never run out of Chromium. Even though that really wasn't an issue earlier, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, Bolivia, right? Bolivia. There's a famous jazz tune called Bellavia. Fun trivia, I guess. <laughs> and then Paraguay. Wait, oh crap, we lost it just because you're not there, didn't we? Oh my gosh, 100 days is way too long. How, how long do we have this one? Until January 11th. Oh, we got some time, that's fine. That's fine. Good, 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 good. Can you replace it? So if we use motorized rocket artillery, you actually lose attack. That kind of sucks. Fight for the Pacific, cool. Um, something really quick and easy. We're gonna do two red flags because we can. Well, the revolution not quite succeeded. Well, it did not uh, succeed in China. It's not unexpected. The country does not have yet the kind of industrialized society for, necessary for proper socialist revolution. Still, the Communist Party represents the best chance for the Chinese people to achieve a communist future. Follow it up with what? The Southern Thrust. Uh, support Afghan communism. I'd like to do this one, but if you want to do this one, please go ahead. As well as the preemptive invasion of Iran. Um. Actually, we might be able to get them easily. The sudden thrust. We just pop with them. If you want to read this one, please go right ahead. 
to support Afghan communism. Afghanistan's where proud nations are humbled. A military operation in the country would be costly at best and might not even succeed. We have a few contacts in Afghanistan who wish to establish a government that is ideologically closer to the line to us. We should support this endeavor. Too bad they're already all dead, but whatever. Super heavy because you can. Let's go in. Oh. Oh, it's literally... I'm glad we did this now, because it's literally the 11th now. Nice. Can you actually win here? I mean, you're not really mountaineer. And using tanks and mounts is just a god-awful idea. But do it anyways. Because you can. Nice. Look at all these subs. Sub daddies. Now, you guys are looking pretty good. You got two carriers, which is okay. You have quite nine battleships, a battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and quite a few screens. Probably, honestly, not enough screens for that group, but whatever. Four carriers, five battleships, a battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser. So that's one, two, seven, eleven, and fifty-four screens. Fifty-four, so eleven needs forty-four. So that's actually pretty good. Two red flags is not bad too. Oh, and we did that. Nice. Oh, we can't do this one. Oh, come on. Communism failed. Oh well, it is what it is. Um. Uh, intervention in China. The situation in China has deteriorated to the point where it is becoming a threat to our security. We must intervene and place a reliable government in the region. Yeah, pretty much. Like normal. Just just normal Soviet things. Ah, uh, Bolivia. Very nice. Any more air bases we need here? Do this for the oceans and stuff too. Oh, Japan's researching. Mm, go half there. And then half he's there. It's fine, they have some infantry, that's fine too. We actually might have enough guys here, anyways. Oh, not that. I want to get rid of this one. Nice. Oh, we're done. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what? That's the case. Uh, let's go down to at least War Economy, maybe. There's still a lot of roads to build in Europe and such like that, but we'll still, whatever. I wish you could convert, like, a civilian production to something else. Um, I don't know. I like the whole TNO, like, GUI for consumer goods spending and military production and stuff like that. Like, can you convert, like, consumer goods to something else? I think that would be pretty swanky if we could have something like that, too. Oh, well, well instead of consumer goods, look, we get more political power. Even though we, are, we don't have that much of a need for political power either. Or convert it to something else. I don't know. Improving compliance. Like, have an option where you use a certain number of civvies that increase compliance daily. You can bribe people to be nice with you after you kill off their families. Not a bad idea. Stuff, stuff, stuff like that. More innovative stuff like that. I think it'd be kind of cool. Well, I want to call it really innovative, but... Useful things. Useful things, yeah. Another carrier, thank you. You know what, screw it. We'll go two carriers. Oh, Trotsky. Anything here? No. Oh, level 5, though. You know Well-planned attack. Oh, Masterful Blitz! Counter by elastic defense, that's fine. I've never seen I don't think I've seen that one yet, so let's do that one. Sounds like a lot of fun. Alright, Paraguay, why do you want to wait till, so long to die? Again, we got about a week left, that's not bad. We'll do something we have not done before. A lot of encryption here. Lots of quite a bit more encryption. They won't be see what's coming to hit them and beat them. But after intervention in China, what are we gonna do? Something else. Probably Argentina? Yeah. Should do okay here. Yeah, it's attacking us too. Um, oh, preemptive invasion of Iran. Pressure from there. They refuse preparations for operations countenance. 30 days prepare for the operation and the declaration of war. Oh boy. Uh, prepare for war with Japan. Before we strike against Japan, we must ensure that there are no surprises waiting for us and intense fire reconnaissance efforts. Yeah, I'll probably do that one just because we can. Good job, Paraguay. Paraguay. Pair dude. Time for a whole fat 20 divisions to try to take out Argentina. Thanks, Paraguay. Thanks for playing. Zukov, I wish you... Well, I don't know. They're actually pretty good, actually. Right, postured, posture, posture. Uh, we can close out that one for now. It's fine. Serve masses down here. Merge another plant. Less destroyer cost. Sure, why not? Uh, cast production cost. We're not even using that. Morale put. Sure, why not? Oh, that one too. Because we can. Marines? Nice job. So we're done on that page. Over here, I guess it was some rocket artillery, because we can. Prepare for the war with Japan. Uh, how much longer do we have to wait? Oh, actually, there's a month long focus or, or decision to do this one. Okay. Interesting, interesting. How many planes? We, we do not have enough planes on our tanks. 
We only have 72,000 naval bombers ready to go. Holy crap. Not enough fighters. Oh my gosh. Lots of casts. Give him a day and see what we can do with this stuff. There you go, Mesopotamia. Wait, is this the Middle East? Just duplicate the link. Yeah, we've got... We've just deployed 30... A little under 14,000 tactical bombers. It's a little insane, not gonna lie. Actually, let's wait for this. Let's do Chile. Give her playing some time to move and groove. And another heavy. And another black cruiser. There we go. That should be good enough. Can you guys just go on in, see what happens. Uh, prepare for Japan and the Kalkin Gull thing. Conflict? The board, goal, the board conflict with Japan has gone long enough. If we can't trust the Japanese government or respect the recognized border, then we have to replace that government. Recover the Kuril Islands. Conquer war goal. I like that one. Once the once we control South Sakai and Kuril Islands, a decision will be available for peace out of Japan and retain those territories. The the Kuril Islands were lost after the disaster in 1905, but we strike fast and hard enough. We can recover them and present Japan with a situation where, they're, where escalating the conflict is not worth it for them. Now, nah, I'm going to end the conflict. Um, but first... I uh, respect Baltic self-determination. We'll go to that one just because um, I will always do claims on the Baltic, so if you're doing that one, please go ahead. But every people should be allowed to decide their own affairs in a democratic way, of course. In many of the bourgeois democracies in the West, this process is immediately perverted by large amounts of money. We'll ensure that the workers of Estonia, Latvia, the, uh, and Lithuania have a fair representation in their own governments. Okay, yeah, look at that. We did that. Claims on Poland? Poland holds territories that have been held Russian for centuries, splitting Ukraine and Belarus between our nations. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. They may have bested us in 1921, but we should remind them that times have changed. Absolutely. Secure Leningrad. Our current border with Finland is far too close to Leningrad for comfort. I was surprised the attack from Finland could reach the city in a few hours. The location also makes it very easy to blockade our Baltic fleet. This is an unacceptable state of affairs, and we must make this clear to the Finnish government. Control Scandinavia. The last remaining threat to our northern border are the governments in the Scandinavian Peninsula. We must impress on them the fact that that peaceful coexistence requires mutual trust, and we cannot trust a government whose ideology does not align with ours. And then claim on Bessarabia. In 1918, the Romanians shamelessly capitalized on our internal troubles and annexed Bessarabia. It's time to remind them that they hold land that legally belongs to us, and if they are unwilling to restore that correct, uh, their correct borders, we will force them out through military means. Nice. And uh, we are going to be doing uh, Heroes Forward. Uh, collectivist propaganda for the motherland propaganda socialist emulation socialist realism Ooh, that's not bad I like that one a lot Ooh, I like this one just because we get field pro promotions you get actually more division organization as well collectivist propaganda is really nice though but non-core map power is not going to be a thing that we really care about just because um well you know like it doesn't give more stability but we're going to go this way just because we can yeah positive heroism while all accomplishments by members of the working class are shared by all members of the working class, we can still appoint individuals as examples that others should emulate. Like Trotsky, himself. Trots Daddy. Or also known as ISP. Were they doing force defense? How many men have we lost in this conflict? A thousand versus... Not bad. Not bad at all. B.A., huh? Ah. Anti-tank anti car, huh? Uh, what's the bombing like? We threw on 16,000. That's not that much. Of course, then again, we only have so many air bases around here, so. We're gonna have to max it out. And since we're down here, anyways, it's gonna build a lot of roads. We're, we're gonna run out of things to build, anyways, so. Okay, Argentina's dead. Thank you, Argentina. Oh, yeah, and then these guys. Is it like Kaiserreich where you, No, it's not like Kaiserreich where you have like a little impassable terrain, which I hate, but makes sense. Nice. Overall, I'd say this has been very successful. Obviously, the next episode is going to be the last one just because we need time to take everything and everyone else out. Um, if you already tank chassis, that's nice. And previous tank chassis, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, go in. Advanced Special Forces Training, grab that one too. But yeah, I'll set stuff up for the next episode so that we can just go straight on into uh, the Japanese sphere of influence. And have a good old time, hopefully. Hopefully we don't... Oh, they did... They did annex these guys down here too, which is really nice, actually. We don't have to invade Australia, which is so good, thank God. I hate invading Australia so much. 
free India. Well, it's not very free, now is it? Pa 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 Pakistan still exists. Um, and Nepal still exists too. But I think that's going to end it here for today. Uh, we're going to control Scandinavia. We'll do positive heroes, and we'll probably do revive the stock non movement. Cruel exploitation drives the workers in capitalist countries to push themselves harder and produce more for those who own the factories. In our country, workers like Alexei Stal. Uh, Stokhanov drive themselves further because they know that every brick laid, every extra ton of coal mined, every extra rivet put in place helps build a world in which the workers are free from exploitation forever. And war heroes. Russians have always been able and willing to perform deeds of extreme bravery in causing, or in the cause of defeating any invader of the motherland. While we are united in our struggle against the enemy, we should not pretend that there aren't some soldiers in our military who have gone far beyond the call of duty and patriarch of all Russia's. While there's little reason for backwards superstition in an enlightened communist society, we must also acknowledge that many people have found strength and comfort in their faith during difficult times. Building a new kind of society is not short on difficulties, and so perhaps we should allow these religious institutions to continue to function as long as they remain loyal to the state. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we will gear up for the war between the Fourth International and the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.